What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the spot where we kick back and react to all kind of different things. All right, so what we got going on today? We're about to get into another Neil deGrasse Tyson explainer video. This one, he's talking about bikes. How do bikes stay up? All right, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be some unique information in here that we didn't know before. Let's go ahead and check it out. See what information he's got for us today. Let's go. Gary, you mentioned something about motorcycles the other day. What was your issue? Yeah, there? um, why motorcycles can stand up? Uh, they're they're transformers. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. So when you say stand up, not after you put up the kickstand. You mean no. it can just roll on its own, yeah, without anybody on it. And a well, vertical a person can plane. Stand on the seat while the thing is rolling. Mm -hmm. For example, I've seen that. Right? Yeah, the display okay. bike teams, they're fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So I, for the longest while, and I count myself among those who would give... I was looking at that like, man, one little slip up. Oh, man, it's all over. I was, I'd be like, I'd be too scared to even try it. I feel like it's going to hit something, fall over. I'm going to eat gravel. Mm -mm. The answer <laughs> that you have spinning wheels that are basically gyroscopes mm -hmm. and that they gyroscopically stabilize the motorcycle. By the way, the same would apply to bicycles, of course. Right, yes. Because, in fact, there was a famous scene in, famous because the people talked about it. I thought it was clear and present, but I didn't realize how many people didn't know that if you set a bicycle moving down a hill That's with nobody right. on it, yep. it'll just keep rolling. It'll keep going. Like, mm -hmm. until, it long, until it hits something. Until it hits something. For yep. a long time, longer than you would expect, and that was mm. revealed in the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yeah, yes. in one of the in one of the romantic scenes with Robert Redford and Catherine Ross, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, that's it where they also, played raindrops. It was also revealed in my driveway as a kid, and I got into a hell of a lot of trouble. Because boy, do you know how much that bike cost? I cannot believe that you were throwing that bike down. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you see. You run and you just let the bike go, and then we, yeah. it's a, then it becomes a ghost bike. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that was a common explanation, and I, I've even given. Oh, that's something I can see. Check you in. That's funny. Given that explanation, but I recently read All that right. someone did an experiment where they added wheels that spin the opposite way of the wheels. They're not connected to the ground or anything, but they spin in the opposite direction. Uh -huh. which cancels out the physical angular momentum of the of the rotating wheel. Okay. So the whole system no longer has a net gyroscopic force operating on it. Interesting. And it's and it's still stayed up. So it it's down. like it's it's rolling down the hill, but then let's say you have like a a balancing pole with two wheels on it and then they're spinning in the opposite direction. Like Correct, just, and they figured yeah. out a way to do this so that then then there's there's no net gyroscopic stabilizing right. force because it's been canceled out just through the laws of physics. So but so it's still maintained its course, and so so here's what's going on, and it's fascinating. It's it's more complicated with a bicycle than in other examples I could give, but a system is stable in whatever it's doing if. Its center of mass is as low as it could be, okay, okay. within a range of, of Which movement. is the whole deal with motorsport, where they're always trying to get the oh, center oh. of mass as low as possible. Yes, and wide. electric cars put their batteries on the not on the roof, yes. but no, on, on the as bottom. low as possible right. on the bottom, so that you have the low... Because watch what happened. If the center mass is so low that... Anything you do to that object raises the center of mass. It doesn't mm. want to do it. It always wants to bring the center of mass as close to the center of the earth as possible. That's why, uh, you guys remember Weebles? Yeah, they wobble, Weebles but they wobble, don't but they down. don't fall down. All okay. Now. All <laughs> so there does. they go. So you push them, and then it writes itself back up. Well, what's yeah. happening? Because in its righted position the center of mass is as low as it possibly can be. And if you do anything else with a Weeble, you are raising the center of mass. And that's not 
what the Weeble wants to do relative to Earth. So once you've raised the center of mass, it says, I'm going back to where I was, and the center of mass drops down, it gets closer to the center of the Earth. In that case, only by a few inches, but it'll do it. So it turns out the design of a bicycle where the center of mass of the front section and the back and the chair is that if you set the thing rolling down the hill and it begins to lean, what'll happen is the front wheel will turn right. into that lean, Correct okay, itself. and right itself, okay? Yeah. So the bike won't necessarily go in a straight line, but if it curves, its tendency will be to right itself. So Neil, because, yeah. I'm on I'm on a higher wire on my bike because I'm a bit like that. Okay, <laughs> oh, God. So, wait, wait. Enormous okay. big okay, wait, wait. pole. Now you want to ride What's a happening? bicycle? Why, 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 why? You want to ride a bicycle on a high wire? Let's just do yeah. the high wire first, and then right. we can stick you on a bike if you want. Okay, so the high wire. The reason why they carry this big stick that's left and right, okay, hmm. it's not to balance them. No, well, that's not what it's doing. Really. No. Okay. No. Now you've it's got not... me. Okay. okay. Mm. That balance pole is floppy. Have you noticed that? Yes. It's not a rigid pole. Chuck, I it's... so thought you were going to drop a gag there. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was going to say it happens to a lot of high wire walkers, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry if if uh, Neil don't come up with the joke. That's what we got Chuck for. <laughs> okay. Of course not. Leave no. it alone. Okay. Exactly. So it's not a rigid pole because you could say you can use that to balance. No, because mm. they're not using it to balance. They get a floppy pole so that right. the side on the left flops downward and the side on the right flops downward. Okay. And the system, the high wire walker plus the pole, has a center of mass now that is so low that if he starts oh. tipping to the left, the center of mass is raised because the pole is out there uh, counterbalancing him, okay? So, yes, I'll use the word balance in that context, but it's all about the center of mass. If he tips, okay. the center of mass raises, and it wants to lower the center of mass once again. So he can easily... I mean, if you still have the talent to do this, stay on the pole, uh, on the wire, because the pole plus the wire, him on the wire, is the lowest center of mass of the system that you can get. And any if you don't see him walking with this up over his head, do you? You don't right. see that. Okay? It's always He's held, holding it down yeah, it's, low. It's always held pretty low right down mm, by the waistline. Yeah. Right by yeah. the waistline. So, Gary, now you want to have yeah. the high wire act on a motorcycle. Okay. Now, bike. So, Let's not go too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so there's probably some kind of groove in the tire for it to stay on the wire. Well, you, you may take otherwise... the tire off and use the rim. Oh, that would work. Oh, oh for sure, because yeah. the rim is con concave, yeah. right? So that that's an interesting way to make that work. But um, if you are up above the wire relative to the tires, you'd want the, the floppy... Uh, um, stick you'd want that to go even wider out to the sides and be even more droopy and that would give you tremendous stability in doing this exercise so gary i don't know did i go where i had to go in that answer for you i think you did yeah i mean just thinking about what it i find that pretty interesting i never yeah of course never knew about that and everything it's less about balancing yourself more about creating a low center of gravity, low enough to where physics itself are, is helping keeping you balanced. Interesting. I wonder if the increased weight is also helping for the wires as well. You know, you figure if you're too light, you'll just like fly off the thing, right? So I wonder if that's the, the, the additional weight is also playing a factor. It work then for electric motorbikes because there's no engine and generally the engine is the lower part of the whole thing. Oh, so oh, you mean, how oh. would that then? Uh, would that then work in the same way? Because I've seen motorbikes where the the batteries go up one of the yeah. I was going to say the, the difference yeah. is that the, the 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 weight of an engine on a bike is pretty evenly distributed, so that you, it makes the bike balanced to hmm. ride. 
So once you just you mean it's the between battery, the rear wheel and the, where your feet go, and where it's not up go. in the not in the front wheel, right? Right. No, that's right. Mm-hmm. So that's normally the way they position engines. But for a battery, you can see it like they sit like right under the front fork sometimes, and then sometimes at the bottom of the bike. So it's interesting. I don't. But I'm. So I I, I'd have to conclude, Gary, that yes. if they're putting batteries up the down the down tube and up mm-hmm. the tubes, yeah. then that's changing where the center mass of the of the system is. And it can only be less stable for that reason. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Perfectly. What we need is delivery riders on less stable bikes doing 30 odd miles an hour <laughs> down, down the street the wrong way with our food. Perfect. That's right. Because in the city, Uber Eats are people on, on, motor, on motorized bicycles, it's not people in cars. So that's all I can tell you on that, Gary. Were you, were you, are you oh, good, good to go that. on that? Thank you. Yeah, so just remember yeah, I'm, I'm, I was fascinated by the balancing pole because that is something I'm thinking, well, that's for balance. But it's not. It's a different thing altogether. It's a different, I mean, it's, there's some. Yeah, it's for what yes, you said, the center of mass. It's for center mm. of mass. It's, it's to keep the center of mass as low as possible. And in some cases, the center of mass is, in fact, I think it's in every case, the center of mass is below the wire. Ooh. So mm. that as you tip, it's spooky. the center mass says, "I want to get as low. I want again. I want to get as close to the center of Earth as possible, and that's directly below the wire. And mm-hmm. you're on top of the wire, so everybody's stable. There it is. Interesting. So it's not and as dangerous can... as they make out, then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still dangerous, not as dangerous. It's like. Just take a couple of points off, but it's still fairly dangerous. <laughs> I think most things are not. If you boost the odds in your favor by training, by practice, by physics, mm-hmm. then anyone else looking at what you do is imagining themselves in that situation and how dangerous it would be for them. That's... They're not imagining you in that situation, in that situation, imagining how non-dangerous it otherwise is for those who are trained. Chuck, Gary. Huh, that, I never really thought about it that way, but that's so true. That is absolutely true. Every time you see somebody, you be like, ooh, you're always thinking like, ooh, oh man, that would hurt so bad if it happened to me. Like, oh, you know, we, we project a lot. So, especially when you see like people doing train stunts and you'd be like, oh man, if they slip up just a little bit and they don't slip up, you know, uh, at least in the, in the clips that we get to see, right? <laughs> But the whole thing in your mind is that you're thinking with your with your abilities. Yeah, if you tried it, you'd really mess yourself up. I know I would. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, when you see somebody doing something crazy, if they've trained and prepared for it, don't be as afraid. Because they're not you. <laughs> they're not me. <laughs> all right. That's all time yes. we have for this explainer. Really? Yeah, and, and Star Talk Sports Edition, we got explainers there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had curiosity the- as well, Neil. Yeah, the rest of the universe is not the only place where you scratch your head and say, really? Is that how that works? Why? Yeah. Uh, really? Sports is right. Riding a motorcycle on a wire? <laughs> 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 really? Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. As always, keep looking up. All right. Another great one from Neil deGrasse Tyson. All right, y'all. Y'all know what to do. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Let me know if you'd like to see me react to next. Hit that like button before you go. Share this video with everyone you know. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right? So, till next time, take care of yourselves. And I'm out of here.